Hi guys, it's Patricia, your independent Sensi consultant, and today is Tester Tuesday, my favorite day of the week. It's the day that the Sensi addicts gather to hear about Sense on my channel. So this week's a little bit different because I did make an error, and I'll tell you about that here in a second. But we had 232 votes come in this week, and in first place we had this blue colored wax called Sea Sun and Fun, and that had 31% of the vote. In second place, we have this light green colored wax called Simply Lime, and that had 19% of the vote. And in third place, we have this peach colored wax called Grapefruit Sunshine, and that had 14% of the vote. You're probably thinking, why are you talking about three cents? <laughs> well, I went and warmed Sea Sun and Fun, and I Googled about it to see the scent description, things like that, and up came my video from exactly one year ago. I reviewed Sea Sun and Fun and forgot about it. Sometimes that's happened to me before. I think it's happened once or twice before. And sometimes it, I can't even remember a scent and I have to Google and if my video pops up, I you know I, I know I've done that. But sometimes I, I just think I haven't warmed it. And it's because I always get Sea Sun and Fun mixed up with Jet Set Go. And not that they smell alike, it's just the name, Sea Sun Fun, Jet Set Go. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll talk briefly about this scent and we'll go talk about the other two after that one. So let's talk about our first place scent this week very briefly. It is Sea Sun and Fun. This one I had two full size testers and two mini testers. And I will link the video of my original warming in the description box or in the comment section so you can go refer to that. But this is about a medium intensity fragrance, last available Bring Back My Bar, July 2018. I would put in the fresh category. The scent description is a splash of salt water, an orange twist, scattered lily petals, and rays of sunny amber. So on cold, this kind of reminds me a little bit of thunderstorm or summer rain with an, a zinc oxide component that is in a sunscreen mixed with it. And when I warmed it, it, it was very much like a beachy zinc oxide, fresh floral kind of sensation with a little bit of fruity citrus. It's pleasant, uh, it's uplifting, it's bright, it's airy, kind of puts you in, in a good mood, very fresh. When I watched my previous video, I talked a little bit about going to the beach. There's a story there if you wanna go and listen to that story. But it's funny, the performance was very similar when I warmed it this time as compared to last time. So when I took some of this wax, I put it in my bedroom, strength and throw was about eight out of 10. I left it going 23 hours over two days. And the other area I warmed it, I took one tester one cube's worth, and I warmed it in my mudroom laundry room in a mini warmer. And sometimes I like to use a mini warmer just to kind of see, because a lot of people have mini warmers. That is a Chasing Fireflies, and Strength and Throw was seven and a half out of 10, so that was nice. I left going two days there, 22 hours, and then I removed it. It was hard to smell there, because we just got a, what do you call them, an air fryer? And <laughs> my husband was frying everything, so this Sea Sun and Fun was kind of fighting a little bit with the drifting smells of the air fryer, but. Yeah, if you're someone that likes summer rain or thunderstorm, and if you can imagine a sunscreen added to that, you might really like this. It actually kind of reminded me of a summarized version of Arctic Kiss, and it could be the color of the wax, but as it was melting, I was getting little whiffs of Arctic Kiss plus sunscreen. So anyway, a little bit different, but would I repurchase Sea Sun and Fun? Yes, I would. I think it was really nice. Great in most areas of your home, especially a bathroom or a bedroom on a summer day. And that is Sea Sun and Fun. Okay, so let's move on to our second place scent for the week. It is Simply Lime. And Simply Lime, let me refer to my notes. On Cold Sniff, it was about a medium intensity in this tester. And I must say, I have had terrible luck with the next two scents. So last week I had a great week, this week not so much. So in this tester was medium and all the mini testers were light. So something to think about. The Simply Lime came around in the Simply collection of scents, I think around 2012, 2013. So these are pretty old testers. And I will read you, there's a couple different scent descriptions, but I think I will read you both just so you can get an idea. It says, give yourself a happy hour anytime you wish by surrounding yourself with the fresh and bubbly fragrance of pure lime. In another area, it said, the Simply Lime Scentsy Bar will give you a burst of aroma of the deep green limes that hang from the full-bodied tilia trees. The brisk scent will leave you feeling energized and awaken your senses. So these scents are designed to be more simplistic in nature. So it did definitely remind me of a lime. 
and I feel like there's like just the tiniest hint of bubbliness. But the problem is, I took one of I took this plus two mini testers. Let me see here what I do. Yes, two, and I put them here in my bedroom. Strength and throw is like about three out of ten. I really I I knew what I was looking for when I walked into the room, and it was still really hard to smell. But once I went up to the warmer, I was like, oh, this is really nice. Like I was literally inches away and I'm like, oh, this is really nice. I like the smell, but it just wasn't throwing in the room. And it could be the age of the wax. Now I'm just gonna tell you in the past, I've had trouble with certain citrus scents and testers. Citrus scents don't seem to last as long in testers as other scents. And I do feel in the bars, they last a little bit longer. So I'm, I'm not sure what it is about the testers, but I just caution you, if you have citrus-based testers to use them up quickly. Don't let them sit around for eight or nine years. Now, these were not mine. These were actually gifted to me from my superstar director. She knows I have this video series and she wanted to help me out by giving me some variation of scents. So that was really nice of her. Um, out of the scents of lime that I've smelled, I feel like it is a little bit different than the other ones and I, I really do like it. So would I vote for this to come back and bring back my bar? I definitely would because I wanna try it. Typically, lime scents are very strong and this one just wasn't. I think it's the age of the wax. I should mention in my son's room, it was even lighter, like one out of 10 for three, for the three mini testers. And I just left them going a few hours in each area to try to see if maybe it was just my nose or something. No, very light, but very pleasant when I went up to the warmer. So yes, I think I would vote for this and bring back my bar. And I would just warm it within a year or two just to be on the safe side because I really like lime scents. I really like adding a lime base to other scents. It's really nice. This is great in a kitchen, bathroom. Uh, you could put it in office at the start of your work day and that would be really nice to kind of get you going through the day. So yes, a little bit disappointing, but I think it has potential. If you've had experience with Simply Lime, if you're a little bit, you know, been with Scentsy for a while, please comment below what you thought of it. But yes, I would vote it back because I want to try it and that is Simply Lime. Okay, so let's talk about our third place scent this week. It is Grapefruit Sunshine and I have two testers of this scent. And I happen to have a, a room spray from when it came in my scent of the month kit. Here is the color of the wax as I have removed it from the dish. I don't know if you can see that, but it is very slippery there in the middle. So I'm gonna be very careful touching that. So on Cold Sniff, this is a light to medium fragrance. It was a scent of the month from May, 2018, and I would put it in the citrus category. So the scent description for Grapefruit Sunshine, it says follow brisk citrus pink grapefruit and subtle vanilla to a brighter place. Now, I'm gonna tell you my past experience first. I usually don't do that, but that's what we're going with first. So this is almost like a candied grapefruit scent with some vanilla. If you've smelled apricot vanilla and you can extrapolate that same scent, but in a grapefruit version, very sweet and gentle and pretty and girly, but not girly like perfumey girly, just a really nice candied vanilla grapefruit, candied grapefruit vanilla scent. Oh, and a little bit of citrus, a little bit of bright lemon, almost like the same citrus scent that you would get, uh, an accompany citrus scent from um, the Yankee Candle that I really like. I can't remember the name. Juicy citrus and sea salt, but there's no saltiness here. It's, but it's, it's very nice, just kind of like that with a lot of pink grapefruit. So, I smelled this <laughs> before I put it in the warmer and I was like, uh-oh, it smells like it's a little bit off. So if you've ever opened an old lotion and, and it starts to change, you know what smell I'm talking about. And that's a little bit what this smelled like. I would say maybe 25% bad to 75% good scent. But I thought, well, maybe it'll go away. I'll put it in the warmer, I'll put it in the warmer and try. <laughs> now, these were gifted to me by my Superstar Director because I don't have any of my own testers left. I've warmed all my bars from the scent of the month. I will tell you, I absolutely love, 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 love this scent. And I know it's a great smelling scent. So when I put it in the warmer, that paraffin gone bad kind of smell definitely came out. Like I said, about a 25% amount of it then I could smell my beautiful smell a little bit in the background, but obviously it was foreshadowed by that badness. So again, a citrus-based scent that has gone off a little bit. So kind of supporting what I said before, some of the citrus-based scents do change, especially, and it might be a surface area thing, it might be a storage thing, but especially in testers. 
And what I want you to do after you finish voting for the video is I want you to go, if you have um, grapefruit sunshine in your closet or your drawers or wherever you keep your bars, I want you to go and get it out and I want you to melt it because it's no good sitting in the drawer starting to deteriorate, okay? So Sensi says you should melt your bars within a year for optimal performance. And most bars last well beyond that, but definitely go and pick out this one and melt it just because it may go bad. If the testers are anything like the bar, the bars usually stay a little bit better longer. So anyway, let's talk about how it did. Now, before I do this, I'm just gonna spray this so I can get a smell. Oh, and sometimes I do that and I just kind of walk into it and then I smell like grapefruit sunshine. <laughs> It's a beautiful scent. Okay, so I put this in my room here. And strength is always about six out of 10 with the bad smell. And I left it going about uh, 10 hours and then I removed it. And when I removed it, there's the sap. So I don't know what's going on there. It could be the sap and it's sticky as all get out. It was really hard to get off the dish. So just to give you the heads up, but if you're someone that likes apricot vanilla and you like a bright citrusy scent, even something like Dumbo, you may like grapefruit sunshine. This would be great in a bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen, an entranceway. It's not super strong for my memory. It's about a six to seven out of 10 fragrance, but it's really, really nice. And like I said, warm it, go warm it. <laughs> would I repurchase this or vote for it and bring back my bar? Even with what everything that happened this week, I would, but I would just make sure, again, I would warm this within one or two years of purchase. And that is Grapefruit Sunshine. All right, so let's move to the portion of the video where I'm gonna draw six cents and you guys are gonna vote for two different cents by early Wednesday morning, and hopefully I don't screw up again. <laughs> if you cannot comment on YouTube videos, find my Instagram post, put your vote there, it's Patricia Gates. All right, cent number one for the week is Newborn Nursery. Set number two, Orange Amber. Set number three, Titanium. Set number four, Summer Rain. We'll go way back here. Set number five, Enchanted Mist. And as a surprise, I feel something very different in the box. Oh, what do we have here? It's Bloomin' Beach. Set number six is Bloomin' Beach. <laughs> I can't help but laugh every time I say that. Okay, so let's review. Set number one, and that is not a tester, but somehow it just made its way into the in the box. I don't know. I don't know how it got in there. The Irish guy put it in there. Okay, Newborn Nursery is set number one. It is available year round in the fresh. Set number two is Orange Amber. I do not know much about this, but if you guys vote for it, I will learn more. That's a retired scent. As is set number three, Titanium, also retired. Set number four is Summer Rain. I have one small tester here, but I have more of this scent. So if you vote for this, I have more of that scent to warm. As do I have more of this scent. It is a retired scent that has returned uh, probably in the last two or three years and bring back my bar, it's Enchanted Mist. And scent number six is the Mother's Day scent that it just released recently and somehow we're gonna talk about it possibly. It's Bloom and Beach. <laughs> so there we have it. This was a very weird Tester Tuesday. Thanks for sticking with me. If you are new, please consider subscribing, especially if you love to hear about Scentsy. We are a great community here. We have a lot of fun. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video.